I commonly get asked what I do for tramming and how often I do it. Um, basically, I normally do it at the start of every major job or if I had a minor crash, which I've had just now. Um, to do it, I fit this uh, tool I've made up, two digital gauges. Uh, to zero it, we just go down, get it to have some pressure on it, zero out this gauge. Uh, in this case, I'm just using a magnet here stuck in a bolt, so I've got a fixed reference point. Then we turn around the other other gauge. Uh, I use a mirror so I can see what I'm doing behind there and make sure it is zeroed, which it is. Right, once that's done, I move to on my bed where I want to do my tramming. Uh, and it's just a simple matter of going down. Uh, the number doesn't really matter. Uh, what we're trying to do is get um, the numbers the same. So what I'll do is I'll just get it close to zero. Just uh, and you can see I'm on here. I'm 0.475 millimeters out of my tram. So to fix that, all we do is loosen off three of the major bolts loosely. Leave one slightly tight. And as my favourite YouTuber says, a little bit of tappy tap. Till the numbers are the same, or as close as I want to get. So that's pretty close there. Just tighten up and nip it up and see how much it moves. Right, there we are. Now, I'll just adjust that so you can get it closer to zero for you. Um, so we can see this gauge here is at minus 0.04 millimeters. This gauge here is at minus 0.036 millimeters. Um, as far as I'm concerned, that's close enough what I need to do. Some guys don't need that level of precision, but I find um, when you trying to get surface finishes, um, I've just done it, and the service finish is still quite good, but I can just feel a very slight ridge on the tramming. Um, using this tool, what's that taking me, two or three minutes uh, to sort it out, and it's all good again.